What's going on guys, Big Time 110 here, and today we're going to be checking out Lineage 18 OS for the OnePlus 7 Pro, and this is the newest iteration of Android 11. So without further ado, let's get into the ROM guys. Okay, now that we're here at the lock screen, let's check out Double Tap to Sleep. Perfect, it works as well as the fingerprint reader works really great. And as you can see, we have the Pixel Launcher already on deck with the Google Now Launcher on the left. And that's because this ROM comes with two launchers. It comes with the Pixel Launcher and it comes with its own Trebuchet Launcher. Now, the only problem here is that if I choose Trebuchet, I get these problems in the fourth closing. So in order for us to fix it, we just go back, choose the Pixel Launcher or whatever launcher you want to install, and that seems to fix the problem. And if you choose the Pixel Launcher, note that double tap to sleep on the home screen, it's not gonna work for you. So your best bet is to get a different alternative launcher that can enable that feature for you. And if we move on to the screen guys, 90 frames per second, 90 hertz, it's working real great here, no problems whatsoever. Now, if we move on to the camera here, we have a camera that comes pre-installed and I also installed the G-Cam. Now, the pre-installed camera, you guys already know how I feel about this. It's a good enough camera to get pictures and your videos, but honestly, if we want better videos, we do not have to install a G-Cam or a different cam, an alternative that you like. So, but just beware that the G-Cam, for whatever reason, it was working and it stopped working for me. So I don't know what happened here. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to network and internet. Here we can go to mobile network and we can see that we have voice over LTE already turned on and we also have the Wi-Fi calling but it doesn't come turned on so you're gonna have to do that by yourself manually and uh, turn it on. Now when it comes to battery you can expect at least five and a half to six hours on this ROM which is typical and it's pretty good. Moving on to display guys, here we have all our regular options like your dark theme, your night light, your styles and wallpaper and whatnot. You also have your minimum refresh rate, which you can choose from 90 to 60 hertz if you like. So you can change that and choose whatever you want. You wanna see some battery, choose 60 hertz. But me, I always keep it a 90. Now we have our other options here. Now, if we go to sound here, we have all the usual, nothing really changes, nothing special. Let's go to security real quick. Here you can see that we have the screen lock, fingerprint, smart lock, and that's it. There's no face unlock yet. So keep that in mind when you want to install this ROM. Okay, so let's go to system here. And as you can see, we have all of these options available. And we're gonna start with buttons. So let's go ahead and go into buttons. As you can see, we have all these navigation options. We have power button and call, long press for the torch. We also have some other options for your volume button to wake up the device and so on. If we go to system profiles here, we could change and have custom profiles. If we go to status bar here, we have all these options like turn on the network traffic monitor, change your system icons and turn off whatever you don't want to see. You have your clock. As you can see, we have options to put it on the right, center or left. We also get your AMPM style. You want it small or high or big. We also get our battery status here. So we could put whatever status style you want circle text or icon and if you even turn on the percentage whether you want it hidden next to the icon or inside the icon that's up to you we also have a brightness slider guys here so you choose whatever you want if we move on to gestures real quick guys here we can see that we have touchscreen gestures so you can customize your device however you want with all these gestures. There's so many options here. I'm sure you're gonna like them. 
and we also have your system navigation here we get all three available options you can even go into the settings for the full screen gesture navigations just to uh, adjust the right in the left edge so you know how sensitive it's going to be when you press back and we also have the front ring and the power menu so here you have the advanced restart Going back here real quick, we can see that we are in the latest Lineage OS 18. As of November 29, 2020, this is the latest update. Here we can also see that this ROM is rocking the latest Android 11, which uh, as you can see here, it has the build date of Sunday, November 29, which is the latest they have on the website. I just love the way Android 11, it's evolving with these notifications and how aesthetically it looks. Now, if we go up here to the tiles, we can see that we have the new screen record option and it does work. And I just like this option here. And we also get the other options too. So don't be afraid. We have the screencast, the nearby share and the VPN by Google one. So there you go. There you have it guys. Lineage 18 OS. Now, before I forget guys, let's go ahead and go to matches real quick. And I know I'm gonna get a lot of flack from a lot of people saying that I didn't follow directions, I didn't, didn't install it correctly, but I beg to differ. Um, everything was working correctly until just recently. I rebooted my phone a couple of times. Now, if we go to matches hide here, we should be able to hide the apps that we don't want root to be detected, right? So as you can see, I have those. If I was to go back, and check just to see if they're hidden nothing they're not gonna be checked so oh well now here are some benchmarks for you guys to see just to see how the ROM performs I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the process so you don't have to stare at the screen for a long time And as far as gaming goes, guys, everything is working great. I had no issues with gaming whatsoever, even with uh, cloud gaming. So I just didn't want to make this video longer. So I didn't put in any footage of that. But trust me, everything was great. Would I recommend this ROM to you guys? Well, yes, I would. You know, this ROM is one of those ROMs that are always a solid performer. This ROM has good battery, easy five and a half to six hours of screen on time, and it has great performance whether you're playing a game, watching a movie, or whatever else you want to do on your phone. This ROM handles everything. Now, it might not have all the bells and whistles that you expect from other ROMs, but that's not what Lineage is all about. You know, so guys, try this ROM, you will not be disappointed. I love Lineage, so. And I know I, I say that a lot about other ROMs, but I truly love a lot of other ROMs too. Now, another thing I was going to say is before deciding to do a review on this ROM, which I already had in mind, I was going to do Kang OS because some of the subscribers had requested it. And uh, the problem with that is every time I installed it, which I did like three times, even clean install like I always do, I had an issue where the camera just kept popping in and out. Now. I reached out to the developer and he was so cool and everything about it and he reached out back and he told me that apparently it's just the problem that I'm having. I mean, nobody else has, has come forward and said, hey, I'm having that issue too. So it might be isolated to my device only. Who knows? But it had happened before with other phones, you know? And uh, I tried a different ROM as well. Um, I know I did a video on Yap, uh, Android 11 no issues but i tried yap android 11 tress mod and i had the same issue with the camera popping in and out mind you it wasn't like the other one where we're just constantly just going in and out the yap tress mod was you know every five minutes it would just come out and stay there for a little bit go back in which is still annoying and the thing is i can't review a rom like that and i don't want to recommend a rom like that yet until 
all those things get sorted out. I would I would hate for one of you guys to, you know, have your phone in your pocket and mess up your camera. I don't even want to go through that. So for that, I just decided to just deal with that later. So in the meantime, I said, let me try Lineage OS since it's based on the same Android 11. And to my surprise, I didn't have those issues. Well, like I said, guys, you won't be disappointed. Give it a chance, try it out. If you need root, then wait. If you don't, jump on it. This is a solid ROM. And um, guys, with that being said, thanks so much for the subscribers. Thank you so much for all the likes. I appreciate that. And um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It doesn't cost anything and it helps me a lot. It helps me, you know, what content to bring you. And it also motivates me to do this video. So guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.